Uh, you are quite the legend in power metal. Uh, you started uh, one of the most, you are, you are, and you started one of the most influential bands in power metal, which is obviously Blind Guardian, the most iconic band out there. Uh, and then you went off to do some incredible projects, you know, with Ar Iron Savior. You were with them. You did Savage Circus, one of my personal favorites, uh, Cold Seed. You were also with Sirius Black and obviously now The Mentalist. Uh, but uh, we've, uh, you know, you have a lot of fans out there that love Blind Guardian. And uh, uh, we don't, we don't want to get too much into it, but we want to ask you, um, we know that the real, the reason, and it's been overstated in several publications across the years, we're not going to ask you the same thing, Toman. This is not your classic <laughs> old uh, metal interview, as you already noticed. Uh, yeah, um, so, know. you know. We know that uh, it was due to musical differences. You kind of you wanted to maintain uh, the true essence of uh, the uh, the the power metal blind guardian style that uh, took you to fame, that rose you to fame as a musician. Um, and then uh, a night of the opera gets released. As a, a true fan of your music, we could tell that it was I don't I don't want to say overproduced, but there was uh, a lot of layers to the music. Yeah. There was a lot of yeah. voices yeah. that Hansi brought in. A lot of different yeah. drum tracks that uh, were you could tell were there. Uh, it was yeah. clear when yeah. you performed some of these songs live how you had to yeah. modify the song to a certain extent uh, to make it not fit, but to make it more tolerable in the live scenery. Yeah. Um, yeah. What do you think about ultimately A Night at the Opera many years after now that it has been released and uh, about the albums that came after? about the current state of Blind Guardian. What do you think? I must tell you, I, I'm always a very honest person in, in this way, you know. Um, I hate to lie to people, you know what I mean? I hate lies. And this is what I really teach my own children, you know. Amen. I said, don't lie. I hate it, you know. Tell me whatever you want. We can talk about but don't lie, yeah. Mm -hmm. And... This is the same I do to my old band members from Lion Garden, if they like it or not. And I told them personally, I said, guys, it is not, not my cup of tea anymore. You know what I mean? Uh, do you say it in, in English in, in America? My okay. cup of it's tea. It's not my cup of like, tea. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I said, it's really, in, in a musical way, really high level, without doubt. You know, without a doubt, it, it is a big level that they really present there. But what really, for me personally, is Blind Guardian, got lost in the last years. And this is the big choirs that, like a Valhalla, you know what I mean? Imaginations from the other side, easy being, being able to sing that chorus, Easily exactly. in a concert. The exactly. new stuff is too too intelligent already. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't want to say worse, just too intelligent, too too highly um, arranged and intricate. Just, you know what it I has, mean? It's, it has a yeah. lot of orchestra parts, a lot of uh, a lot yeah. of uh, musical uh, breaks, perhaps uh, for uh, you yeah. know. Exactly. I, I, I think I understand. It's become more of a musical score approach, in my opinion. Exact, exactly. It is more, right. for me, it is like Blind Guardian nowadays does Dream Theater. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Let's say it this way. You know what I mean? Right. Dream Theater is a great, great band. It's not a problem, you know. But what I never liked in Dream Theater is when they got too complicated and too progressive, you know. Right. I like right. more the easy stuff you know look for example with the old singer dream theater with the old singer in the first album when dream when dream and day unite uh -huh. i love this album because it has melodies inside right that are so incredible yeah? and images and words was a great album too you know with the other singer but later they got more and more complicated then awake was a cool album again for me mm -hmm. then it was like a punch in the face more you know much more <laughs> heavier and and all the other stuff, very experimental. And this is what Blind Guardian nowadays is compared to the old Blind Guardian time. Correct. But I accept this, but it was not my key anymore, you know? I don't say it is bad, as I said, you know? It is not bad, but it is not my cup of tea anymore. I want Blind Guardian the way I know them 
from the times when I played in the band. This is what I loved on my guardian. The, the great melodies, the, the great big choirs where you said, I cannot stand there and say, I don't sing with the other guys. You know what I mean? That's right. In yeah. the new stuff, I have the feeling you can do that. You can stand there and say, okay, I just, you know, that's about the band itself. Right. Doesn't understand it, I think, because they feel it in a different way. Mm -hmm. They just developed in a, in a different way. You know what I mean? I so think it's, it's not more meant in a bad way. Do you think that? Uh, yeah. Do you think that they there uh, there will be a time? Uh, I mean, you know your uh, fellow uh, ex band members more than anybody else, I think, out there. Uh, uh, we yeah. see that a lot of musicians, especially in the in the power metal world, they try to maybe experiment with perhaps a couple uh, uh, some genres that they had that they always wanted to experiment with. Maybe it was a dream that they had. Maybe it was a goal and objective that they had. Do you do you see Blind Guardian coming back to its roots, Toman, or do you see do you see them continuing their orchestral uh, uh, route that they've taken so far and will continue to do so? I would say if they get back on any album to to the old roots, it would be pure coincidence if it happens it's i know my old band members for that that they will not stand there and say okay let's do, do an album that sounds like the old they are not made for this because they always wanted already in the early years, they wanted to develop but there we did it in a different way we had still more possibilities but if you already at least released about 10 albums and you still have to develop with every album you need to make any cut maybe probably you know at any point and this is what maybe happened with them um, they didn't know how to develop their own old roots anymore so they did the next step and i know that my old band members always are good for a big surprise you know that is the mm -hmm. point uh, if you think you know them they will teach Teach you that you didn't know them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's these are my old band members. Yeah, but that's that's what what is really very positive on that band. You know, because right, good for everything. Suddenly, you know, what doesn't come tomorrow can be next year. You never know. You never know. It's always a surprise. Getting away from the Blind Guardian topic and asking you about uh, this pr uh, project that uh, Hansi has, uh, Demons and Wizards. Just out of curiosity, have you listened to it? Yeah, I've listened to that. I like it. Uh, I you like say, it? Yeah, I like it. it. It is different. The third album now is really different than very different. Uh, the, the two first ones. Yeah, very different, but still good. Still good. It has something special, I think. I don't like mm -hmm. every song on the album. A few ones. I must listen more to that. I didn't have the time the last, in the last month, you know. Two right. or weeks to listen so, too much to that, you know. But uh, I will listen more times to that. And what I heard so far, I heard it already completely, you know, two times I think. And and in between, just there a single song, there are a single song, and I really like it. But there are two three songs on it where I say, nah, they don't sound too catchy for me. You know what I mean? They are not I agree. in the face. You I know? agree. But I on, think the, uh, on the old ones, yeah. almost, almost every, every song is anyhow really cool. You know, you're you're absolutely right. Yeah. I, I think I, I like him a whole lot too. Um, so moving moving on and talking about you know the power metal world and the power metal universe, it's a. Two